I literally should be on a yacht. Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shayi, and this is The Daily Shayi. On this channel, I share fashion styling videos, fashion hauls, along with some lifestyle and beauty tips. So if any of that is right up your alley, then please feel free to subscribe. And as always, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in and being a real one. So today, I'm gonna be talking about one of my favorite things to wear sunglasses Ooh. to know me is to know that i love a good pair of sunnies y'all legit i think almost every outfit that i take a picture in every outfit that i'm wearing i usually like to pair it with a pair of sunglasses and i have a pretty extensive collection but today i'm just going to talk about my top 10 favorites you know i have others but you know these are my top 10 favorites that i find myself reaching for more often than not i wanted to share what those are and i'm gonna go from most expensive to least expensive just because I feel like that makes the most sense. Let's just go in descending order. So without further ado, if you'd like to see my top 10 sunglasses, then just continue watching. So three of these sunglasses I actually already featured in another video and I'll link that video here if you have not watched it yet. But you know, it doesn't hurt to talk about it again. And number one, we have these Fendi Cat Eye. Ooh. When I say that these sunglasses make me feel like a bad B, like nobody can tell me nothing. Like I am that chic. I mean that from the depths of my soul. I love these shades so much. I usually do not go for like a really big kind of cat eye shade. But what I love about these is that it has this decal right here on the side, the little F decal. The actual frame itself is basically monogrammed and it's kind of faint and it's kind of giving that tortoiseshell vibe, but it is monogrammed and I just love the way it looks. I love the color. It's kind of like rusty, ambery, browny color which is perfect because that is usually the tones I go for in my outfits anyway. I like warm tone shades and these are definitely it for me. I love them so much. They just look so, 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 so good. These retail for 430 in total and I got them off of the Net-A-Porter site, but they also sell them, I believe at frwdford.com. They also had these in store at the Fendi shop um, when I went to the one on Rodeo. But yes, I really like this one and these are my most expensive shades in my collection as of right now. The next four shades are from Desi and I know it's like, okay, girl, you really like Desi brand, but her shades are really good quality for a really good price and they feel very luxurious. So let's start with the number one, which are these are called Charge It. Ooh. <laughs> it feels like putting on a card. Here's my black card. I don't have a black card, but here it is. Here's my credit. Just charge it. That is what it's giving me. It's giving me, I'm going shopping and you can't tell me nothing. What is limit? We don't know her. Amen. In Jesus name, amen, amen, amen. But yes, I love these. They just, I love the shape. It's a very unique shape. I honestly think I'm probably going to order the color that has like the gold rimming because I do prefer more gold, but I did get these just because I like kind of like the tone. These are more cool tone. I love the shape of these. These just fit on my face so nicely. They look expensive. I feel expensive. And you know what? I believe these were around 80 or so dollars. I'll have all the prices in the links below for you to shop. But yeah, I love these so much. And again, these are Desi's Charge It. And next we have Read the Room from Desi as well oh god man these are so flattering on so many people I think they're universally flattering on like any face shape they just work so well and I love it again it's just an espresso color that kind of fades into like a grayish but it's not too cool tone which I do like and I do just like the brown shade of this they also came out with like a cream version that honestly I'm probably just gonna get that cream version when I get the other charges because that cream that cream honey is calling my name I am obsessed with these I'm gonna say that for every shade I have here I'm obsessed with all of them so if you hear obsessed maybe we'll just do a count how many times do I say obsessed in this video <laughs> let us see but yes I am obsessed with these they're just they just look so good on everybody and it just sets the tone of the outfit it just sets the tone I mean like come on now again these are Desi's read the room and I believe these also retail for $85 so yes, they are a thick acetate, which I do love in a sunglass line, sunglass brand. And yeah, it's very sturdy, very sturdy. It's a thick shade, pretty thick, but it doesn't feel too thick. It doesn't feel too gaudy. It just feels just right. So shout out to her because these are bomb. And then next we have on red. So I have these in two colors. I have these in the cream and then I also have them in the blue. Now, 
obviously the blue is more cool tone the cream is more warm but this cream i literally should be on a yacht why am i not on somebody's yacht right now this, this i should be on a yacht with these glasses it's giving a mouthy coast it's giving south of france which i think is a mouthy coast no that's italy it's giving south of france it's giving all the tropical islands. Again, the shape, very unique. I haven't seen a shape like this before. It's kind of like a cat eye, but it's also giving me kind of like some geometrical hexagonal shape, which I love when a sunglass is kind of doing the most while it still doesn't feel like it's doing too much. Like it doesn't look like it's a lot going on, but like when you look closer, it's just like, okay, you got some detailing going on there. I love it. I just absolutely love these. I don't know what else to say. Obsessed, mm-hmm. She has the monogram on the front. I think most of her shades have the Desi here, which honestly, I don't even mind because it just looks good. And it's so faint that you really can't tell. And I believe these are 75. These are a little cheaper. They are kind of like a little smaller. Depending on your face shape, you can kind of determine what will look good. And then the last one from Desi, we have 2000. You cannot tell me that I don't belong in somebody's music video. When she first launched these, I was just like, immediately, immediately. These are fire. These are so bomb. I'm obsessed with them. They're so nice. They're so nice looking. I, I don't even know. I love the, the fact that there's no rim. It adds to that, you know, early 2000s vibe. And I love the gradient effect. I believe she also has these in like a gray color and a pink color. The pink is definitely a vibe, but I went with a more neutral shade because again, you know, I love my warm tones. And whenever I put these on, I transform. I'm holding myself back right now because, you know, I'm trying to be professional, but I, tr I transform okay okay the other ones i said i felt like i should be in aruba this one i felt like i should be legit on rodeo drive just standing just oh, come on now these are so cute these are so cute and i believe these were 80 or 85 i think i think they have a thinner stem so they're not as thick on the sides but again it goes with the whole vibe they also have a desi here on the left hand corner which again i do not mind but yeah these are a complete and total vibe and i love them so much okay i lied i just realized that i probably should did this one before the desis because these ones are actually a little bit more expensive these were retail for around 150 they are one of my favorites they are a circular shade and they give me that 70s vibe which if you don't know 70s is my favorite era of like style and just vibes and that whole era was a vibe but yes these are from a brand called lulu guinness basically this kind of circular 70s shape i love it i love the white on these these are definitely more white the other ones that i showed you from desi are much more cream these are kind of like a true white which i do like because it is summertime and i feel like white in the summer sets off especially on a sunglass and it has kind of like a gold rose gold trimming on it which i do like i feel like it leans a little bit more gold but you can definitely see the hints of pink in there so i guess it's more rose gold but these have been a favorite of mine like i love them so much and they just go with the outfits that i pair them with and i just feel like it just always looks like a vibe it just always looks like a vibe i i don't know what else to say i don't know what else to say you know i'll link below again some similar options even more affordable options that still kind of give off the same vibe and same style all right this pair i actually picked up when i was at a bachelorette and i forgot all my sunglasses at home we were going on a boat and i literally was like i am not getting on a boat without a pair of sunglasses on my face it was that serious so i picked these up literally at you know those like sunglasses stand where they sell like the sunglasses with the hats and all these things and i immediately saw these and i was just like these are cute these are cute look at them okay so they have a gradient it's kind of going like from red to pink to kind of like a tan color that's the first thing that caught my eye i was just like oh this is different but also the shape i am obsessed with this rectangular shape and then on top of that it is rimless honestly like i said in the other one with the read the room from desi this rectangular shape is very flattering universally flattering on many many facial structures and it's still giving me that kind of like early 2000s vibe but like a little bit more like you know chill kind of i got these literally from the local sunglasses stand i think these cost me maybe 15 dollars because it was like two for 25 or something like that so 12.50 very cheap very cheap glasses but they're cute okay next we have these white pair that i got from like was it a thrift store it was like a thrift store situation 
And as you can see, there's a rectangular theme going on here. These are white and the shade part is actually just very much like black. Now these are a stark shade, but it's not like white, white. It, it's kind of given kind of like a clearish white. Sometimes when it's just like white, flat white, I don't personally always like those depending on how the shade actually is. Like if the shade itself is kind of like a gradient, then perhaps, but because the shade is basically just black, I do appreciate that the white is not super white. It's kind of like a clear dusty white, but yes, these were cheap. These were like $10, $10, $10 but I like them. Yep. I feel like I wear these usually if my outfit is more so on the plain side and I just really want something to make it pop. And again, because the shades are more black, these are definitely more helpful in the sun versus like the 2000s. 2000s is definitely just for aesthetics. Whereas these are probably definitely more for like actually blocking the sun from your eye. So I will definitely find some similar options below for you. They do not have a brand because I'm pretty sure these are just like from some factory. Oh but it's okay it's okay they still do what they need to do and lastly number 10 i kind of say i don't say the, the the best for last no but i will say these are actually one of my favorite favorites because they're such a unique style and i got these from a place i do not shop at anymore so is it worth mentioning where i got it because i don't shop at this place anymore okay i got them from forever 21 <laughs> I look like a musician who's probably like kind of like a little douchey, but secretly they're super nice and kind. That's that's what I look like. That's what it's giving. These are some red shades. Like right now I'm looking over them because I just want to see clearly because when I go like this, everything is red. But in my mind, I feel like these are meant to be worn just like this where you can kind of see everything in regular, regular color. These are definitely aesthetic mainly, but why do I love them? They're red shades. I mean, that's number one, but also this kind of like flat, surface right here into a cat eye that's just cute it's a cute design i spotted them at forever 21 in store and i just really like the way they look i like it's kind of like little it looks like little watermelons right kind of sort of anyway i like the gold on them i like the gold detailing and this is the last one because i believe i bought these for like ten dollars again maybe even less it was forever 21 so it wasn't that expensive it had to be either 10 to 12 dollars very cheap but they lasted me. They're pretty sturdy for what they are, but I'll probably wear this again with an outfit that likely red or even like black or white. I think that it goes really well. Red kind of complements those colors really well. They're perfect for if you're going to the pool and you really want to be extra. Ooh, yes. Y'all, I almost forgot these Ray-Bans. Oh, that is my bad. Literally, I forgot they were here. They got jumbled up in all the other sunglasses. But yes, these Ray-Bans. I believe these retail for around 200, 150. But I really like these. Let me explain why. It's really the gold rim for me. Also this very square shape, very different from what I have. I know I've been saying rectangular, rectangular, but these also kind of give me that 70s vibe that the Lulu Guinness ones give me. And I'm into it. I'm very much into it. Now, Ray-Bans, I know they're usually you know, known for their aviators, but this style kind of almost still gives kind of like that vibe, but just a little different. I don't know how to explain it, but it's still giving me that kind of aviator vibe. But I love these because of this gold trimming. It's the gold trimming that's really doing it. And I also really like the kind of dark gradient the shade has going on. It's more on the warm tone side, kind of see it's more like brownish. When I look to the side, you kind of see like the brown tint versus black. But yes, really love these. I like wearing these with my outfits that, again, are more on the warm side. When I have a lot of gold accents, something like this works really well just because of the gold and it just complements it very nicely. But yes, these Ray-Bans are a hit. Definitely one of my favorites in my collection. Definitely love wearing them very consistently. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And that is it. Those are my top 10 sunglasses in my collection that I find myself reaching towards the most, the ones that I really love, the ones that I am obsessed with. I hope you found this helpful. Again, I will link all of them and all the ones that aren't necessarily able to buy online anymore, any similar ones down below for your shopping pleasure. And as always, I appreciate y'all for staying tuned and watching this video and I will catch y'all in my next one. Until next time, bye.